In the previous video, we took a look at a text editor that we were going to use for uh, this video series. We also took a quick look at um, the options that we have for embedding, so Tableau Public, Tableau Server, or Tableau Online. What I want to do in this video is um, start building our first web page in which we're going to implement a dashboard. So. Uh, what I've done is I have on the left-hand side, I have here my Visual Studio Code, my text editor. And on the right-hand side here, I have a web browser. So what we'll do is we'll write something on the left-hand side, which will then be displayed on the right-hand side. Okay. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm using a Mac. So I'm just going to hop in my Finder. And in here, I created a folder about embedded analytics. By just dragging and dropping that into the text editor, we're now, we now have this folder open and we can create files in here. Right? So what I'm going to do is I am going to click on a new file here. And let me actually make all of this a little bit bigger. That's a bit too big. There we go. A little bit bigger so you can see it if you're on a, a tiny mobile phone. So um, the first thing that we want to create is an HTML file. So we can say index.html and um, VS Code um, will then basically give us some syntax highlighting as well for HTML files and will make it a lot easier to work with. I'm calling this index.html because the very first um, uh, page of a website is always called index.html. It's kind of the um, um, what, what everyone is doing. Now, I'm just going to hide this on the left hand on the left hand side. Um, I'm also gonna basically remove the activity bar because we don't really need it so we have a little bit more space. So here we have the um, the HTML file there's nothing in here okay so we need to create um, some HTML in which we can put our dashboard. Now, because we're using VS Code, uh, VS Code has this really handy um, tool included called Emmet. And with Emmet, what I can do is I can type in an exclamation point. And you will already see it that it will give me uh, kind of the, the bare bones of a website. So if I then hit enter, you can see that it automatically creates us an HTML page. Okay? Um, this looks like magic, but a lot of text editors have this. Now, how an HTML site is built up is um, it has the doc type of HTML to tell a browser that it should interpret that as HTML. It then has um, a head section. And the head section in here, you contain things like your title. You put here your uh, script tags to, for example, CSS files or to JavaScript files. And this is also the place where we're later on going to put our JavaScript file. Um, this will not be displayed on the website itself. However, the title here is something you see in the tab. So for example, on the right hand side, I'm using um, VS, I'm using Google Chrome, and we can see the title of the tab, which corresponds to the title here, once we actually render this page. Now, what is being displayed on a web page in the browser is everything between body. So if you put a tag here between body, that will be displayed. Now, HTML works with these tags, and um, they are all opening tags and closing tags. So body is opening. You can see the body. And the closing element here has a forward slash, indicating that that's where the body stops. Okay. So what I'm first going to do is let's put a title on our page. And for that, uh, we're going to do an opening tag, and we're going to do an H1. And what you'll see is VS Code auto completes this with a closing tag of H1. And H1 stands for the biggest header you can create. Okay. So we're going to call this my first Tableau dashboard um, in the browser. Okay. So um, if you hit save, then um, we can see that it's now saved index.html. And this now allows me to actually um, run this and uh, display it in the browser. So I'm just going to open up the, the, the sidebar here again. And I ask you to install the little extension to run a server. And that's the one that we're going to use now. 
So I'm going to right click index.html and say open with live server. If this is not being displayed, you haven't installed the extension from the previous video. So I'm going to click on open with live server. Now, what it's going to do is it's going to open up. It actually opened up in my other um, monitor, but I'm just going to a new tab here. And I'm going to paste this in. And now we can see on in the browser on the right hand side that it corresponds my first Tableau dashboard in the browser that is actually being rendered from here. We can see that this is running on 127001, which stands for localhost. So it's a server that is running on localhost in your browser. And the port is um, 5,500. The port number doesn't really matter that much. Uh, this extension runs on 5,500. Um, but after that, we have index.html, which is kind of important. Now, what is really good about this particular extension is that it has live reloading. So what I can do is I don't actually like this title. So I'm going to change the title. I'm going to say um, embedded analytics with Tableau. Okay. If I now hit save, what you'll see is that it updates this thing in the browser, which is really good. Okay. So now we've created um, this particular element called the header. What I want underneath is a Tableau dashboard. Okay. Um, and this Tableau dashboard, we're not going to use a JavaScript API, we're just going to use Tableau's embed code. So there are two ways of embedding a dashboard. The simplest method is copy and paste the embed code. Uh, the other option, which is a lot more flexible and where we're going to focus a lot on in these video series is the JavaScript API. So I'm going to go into my Tableau public profile. I could in theory choose any of these dashboards, but let's just take this one, uh, which I specifically uh, built. And what we now want to do is we don't actually want to copy the URL that's in the browser here, because that's not going to display the uh, visualization. What we need to do is we need to scroll a little bit to the bottom and we need to click on this uh, icon for sharing. So if you click on the share button, what we'll get is two boxes. And um, if you use Tableau online or Tableau surf, this looks a little bit different, but you can still copy the embed code. And then here we have a link. So what we want to do is we want to go into the embed code and put that into your clipboard. So just copy it. And then go back into uh, the HTML file and paste it in there. Now, there will be a lot of code in here, and this will probably don't make any sense to you at the moment. But that doesn't matter because with this embed code, you can easily embed a dashboard into your browser. Oh, sorry, into your web page. And you can do this anywhere. So we're using an HTML file. You can also do this in your in a CMS system. So if you have, for example, WordPress, you can also embed a dashboard in there. So if I now go, if I now go back here, it doesn't show up yet because I need to save my HTML file. So I'm now going to hit save, and there we go. I hit save, and Tableau um, of sorry VS Code actually. Uh, formatted this object that I pasted here a little bit nicer. So it is using some JavaScript, but you don't have to write this. Um, but this is kind of all that's needed to render a Tableau dashboard. And you can see this is in a web page and it's fully interactive. So I can use Tableau's filters in my own web page. So this is how easy it is to get up and running with Tableau's um, embedded analytics. Now, in the next video, I want to take a look at a different way of embedding, and that is using the JavaScript API.